it's Brie Beaupre with Interactive Scrapbooking. This is my VelociCoaster layout. Um, I'm going to share some techniques of some things that I did with this layout at the end. Um, so one thing was I struggled to find things to go with this layout. Um, I made my, all my own quotes from Jurassic Park and I am happy to share. Um, just send me an email which will be in the link below and I will gladly email you copies of my quote sheets that you can print. And it, I don't share your email. Um, I won't be blasting you with anything. Um, I'm just happy to share because I spent so much time making these fun little quotes. So yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed making this layout, but it was difficult to find things to use with it. So what I did first, um, I went ahead and cut a ton, ton, ton of my leaves. And then I did um, some various sponging on them. Um, I'm just gonna go over that really quick. So I'm just gonna take a piece of scrap paper and this is how I store my my little sponges. So I've got the Distress Oxides. I'm going to start with the lighter color. And I'm just going to do this. Actually, I'm not worried about the page so much because I know the scrap paper will protect it, but it's making it bumpy and that's not okay. So I'm just doing it nice and quick. I'm just, you swirl on and that way you don't get hard edges. I learned that from Tim Holtz himself on one of his little videos that he showed. And let's see, my black one, it's like falling off, poor thing. There. And black ink. And I'm just going to do some swirl here. And I think I want the edges a little darker. This is how I end up with multicolored fingers all the time with all the inks. But yeah, so see something like that and it just it gave it extra texture. I was very, very happy with that. And the other thing I did was I went out on Etsy and I got cut files uh, for my dinosaurs. I struggled with some of them um, because there's a lot of cuts on these little friends here. And this one, I had to do a ton of um, contour work and merging and it was pretty aggravating, honestly. But I was very happy with how it turned out in the end. But I'm just warning you, if you go to find those cut files, they're not the most pleasant to deal with. So what I did, he, he got a little ripped, but he'll be fine once I glue him. You can see on just white cardstock, it's pretty flat. It's not nice. And I was like, you know, I kept having and hawing and playing with it. It's like dinosaurs wouldn't be nice to paper. Dinosaurs would destroy the paper. So then I was like, let's do that. So I took my nice, beautiful white cardstock and I smushed it up, which still gives me the, the shivers every time I do this. <laughs> but I did that. And then I'm going to take my gray and I'm just going to go over it. And you know what? I'm, I want it darker. I'm going to use the black one. Let's use the black friend here. And let's put it under some paper. That way we don't destroy the desk. Which would be very, very sad. So I'm just going nice and light. That way I don't like press into, I want to keep some of the white so I don't press into all of it. But it really highlights the lines and gives it some nice crack marks which give it so much more texture when you layer that cut file on top of it. It just looks really, really cool. And I mean, you could do this with just about anything, but sometimes cut files, they just need something underneath them. And see, isn't that so fun? So then, I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through gluing this on, but then when I go to glue him on, he just has so much more texture under him. It just looks so good. I would love to hear from all of you. Um, I use the Zig, um, the chisel glue pen. That's how I do all these little intricate little things. Um, I have tried scrape, sorry, spray glue. Um, that's been okay, um, but that's nothing I love using because it's messy and I gotta take it outside to do it. Um, I've tried some other things, but I, I've not found great things. So please, in the comments, please let me know what you're using. I would love to know. Um, and yeah, once again, if you're interested in getting the quote sheets for Jurassic Park, just email me and I will be happy to email those to you. So thanks so much for watching.
Have a great day. Bye.